Okay, so so if you go through the math here, you'll find that um, the delta x, that is the dis the distance, um, uh, basically between when the waves are in phase and the waves are out of phase, and delta k, that's the difference between the two wave numbers of the two waves, uh, is equal to pi. Okay, so this means that this, uh, in some sense, delta x represents the spread in um, in the spatial uh, variation of the of the wave packet. That is, it characterizes the size of the wave packet, and delta k characterizes the uncertainty in its momentum or the uncertainty in its um, the spread of the of the wave vector values, which contribute to that. Okay. And so, in some sense, that's an uncertainty. If you have some spread and some values, and that means that you have uh, that you can't define um, a precise value, okay, for k. So the product of these two things is equal to pi, and that means that they're inversely proportional. So that they're inversely proportional to each other. This is a constant. So if we know the position of the wave better, that is, if we have a um, wave packet which is smaller in spatial extent, that means that we know we, that, it, that we must have a larger spread in the wave vectors that contribute, that basically make up that um, that wave packet. Okay. Um, we can do the same procedure um, using uh, for for the temporal part of the wave. So if we basically uh, start with the waves in phase at x equals zero. So we f we now we basically look at a particular point in space and now we let time run. Okay. Then we can basically end up if you, this basically following the same procedure, we can end up with with a um, basically an equivalent expression for the frequency and time. So the uncertainty or the spread in frequency values times the uncertainty in the time uh, from when the wave is in phase to the wave is out of phase uh, is equal to constant pi. And so again, the better we know um, the frequency, the more uncertain we are on the uh, temporal spread of the wave function. Okay. So these these relations, uh, delta x delta k is equal to pi, and delta omega delta t is equal to pi, are called um, uncertainty relations, and they express the fact that when a wave is measured over an interval delta x um, or equivalent delta t, the uncertainty in the wave number delta k or equivalently delta omega is inversely proportional to delta x. So delta k is inversely proportional to x delta x, and delta t is inversely proportional to delta omega. Okay. So um, again, this is this is actually the beginnings of a fundam fundamental um, concept in quantum mechanics called uh, the Heisenberg uncertainty relation. This is still a classical uncertainty relation for for waves, but um, but it's the basis for uh, the quant uh, a quantum uncertainty relation or the Heisenberg uncertainty relation, which we'll get to um, very soon. We can visualize this. Um, uh, this situation, uh, the the wave packet that we dis that we discussed on the previous view graph, and the um, these um, uncertainty relations, we can visualize by using the trigonometric identity that cosine a plus cosine b is equal to two cosine a plus b over two times cosine a minus b over two, and so if we basically uh, uh, use that to express our our um, some our superposition wave, then we get this, and we see it's a product of two cosines now, one which has uh, the average wave number and average frequency, and one which has the difference uh, wave number and difference frequency divided by two. And I've basically shown that in this in this uh, graph, the envelope here corresponds to uh, the second cosine wave, the difference cosine, and the with the difference frequencies and the um, the red wave, the fast wave, corresponds to the um, average frequencies, average wavelengths.